everybody, it's me, Lala. Thanks for stopping by to watch another video. Welcome to our new subscribers and welcome back to our subscribers who have been with us for a while. I appreciate your support of me and of our channel and I hope you enjoy this video. I do. I hope you enjoy this video. TGIF, everybody. It is Friday. It is May 26th, 2017. Even in my wackadoodle mind, I am absolutely sure that that is the date and everybody clap because I got the date right every day this week or every video that we did this week I got the date right so clap for me clap for me <laughs> I know right I work hard I work hard at it and I'm getting better I promise I'm getting better so anyway so it is the end of May we are in the last weekend of May can you believe that it is unbelievable how fast this month has gone we are also starting the unofficial start of summer this is like the kickoff to summer and um, there will be a lot of traveling this weekend and a lot of barbecues and events this weekend and I hope that all of you if you have any event to attend or host that everything goes smooth as butter and I hope that everybody is very very safe this weekend as always please make sure that you are aware of the weather that is forecasted for your area and be prepared for the weather that you know is forecasted and um, you know know your emergency plan if you need to the weather has been very very volatile over the last few days and um, we want to make sure that everybody is safe over the holiday weekend let me wet my whistle because I hear a little bit of a frog in my throat <coughs> there we go it has been damp here the last couple days at Lilybug Lane and I think I have made a connection between the dampness and my allergies and and I've had to take the Zyrtec for the last couple days too now when it's sunny and it's warm I don't have a problem with my allergies most of the time so I'm thinking that there is some kind of a connection between it being damp and moist outside moist that's the worst word in the world isn't it moist but anyway damp outside and my allergies you know because I feel a little bit of tightness in my throat and I have a little bit of pressure right here so anyway so um, so I hope also that sometime this weekend that you have a chance to kind of sit quietly for a few minutes and remember the um, soldiers that have passed in uh, service for our country Memorial Memorial uh, Day that is when we um, honor our fallen soldiers and um, you know we are a military family I grew up as a military child and uh, my father was in the United States Coast Guard for over 30 years and I married military and Chewy served in the United States Army for over 23 years and we are the parents of a of a military service member bunny is serving in the united states army so um you know the military is near and dear to to my heart especially and um i hope that if you get a few minutes this weekend to just kind of sit quietly and remember the soldiers that have um passed um paid the ultimate price and gave them the ultimate sacrifice for our country so I wish everybody a very, very safe and a very, very happy weekend. Um, lots of fun things going on. I know, right? There's lots of fun things going on. So we have something to celebrate at Lily Bug Lane, and I want to do that right off the bat. So we're going to have a celebration. I'm going to share with you some Dollar Tree goodies that I got today. I'm going to share with you some Walmart goodies that I got today. And guess what? Somebody's going to be a wiener today. You want to know why? Surprise giveaway! We're having a surprise giveaway tonight. We are. We are. So somebody's going to be a wiener. And we don't know who it is yet. But we'll find out in a little bit. We will find out in a little bit. So anyway, um, we do have something to celebrate. So we will start off tonight's video with a celebration. And I absolutely love to recognize and just acknowledge our circle members and our littles and our misters and our, our 
family too. And, um, you know, if any of you ever have any birthday or anniversary that you would like me to recognize here at Lilybug Lane, I would be absolutely happy to do that. But we do have a birthday in our circle of friends today. We do, we do. Always exciting to celebrate a birthday. And Carolyn Seaton, Seaton or Sitton, um, is celebrating her birthday today. And Carolyn is in our circle of friends. And she's a little bit quiet. She's a little bit quiet in the comment section, but that's okay. Not everybody has to be as loud as me, right? Right? I mean, you know, sometimes it's better to be, you know, to be quieter than it is to be louder. I totally agree with that. But today is Carolyn's birthday, so happy birthday, Carolyn. I hope that you had a wonderful, wonderful birthday today. I wish you nothing but much, much happiness, very good health, and much, much fortune in the year to come. So please join me in wishing Carolyn a very, very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Carolyn! Happy birthday! Jazz hands for you, Carolyn! It's your birthday! You know you're getting the jazz hands, Carolyn, because that's how we celebrate at Lily Bug Lane with the jazz hands. And your birthday is certainly something to celebrate. Can you hear my voice? It's almost like I'm losing my voice. I guess some people think that wouldn't be a bad thing, would it? It would not. So anyway, so please join me in wishing Carolyn a very, very happy birthday down in the comments section. Always, always, always fun to celebrate a circle member's birthday. So happy birthday, Carolyn. We are happy to, uh, we are happy to recognize your special day. So I did go to the Dollar Tree today and I did go to the Walmart today and it was green flags, which was absolutely fabulous. I was a bit apprehensive about going shopping today, not only because it's the end of the month, but because it was the start of the holiday weekend. So, you know, a lot of the kids were out of school today or had half days. You know, a lot of people are getting ready for barbecues and cookouts and, you know, picnic meals and things like that. So I was a little bit apprehensive about going out. And I even kind of, I even kind of considered whether or not to go out. But I went ahead and went out. So, um, and everything was fine. Uh, green flags. Now, it was busy. The Dollar Tree was hopping and Walmart was hopping, but mostly Walmart was hopping in the grocery section and in the garden section. So that was, you know, that was good. But um, I did get some goodies that I would like to share with you. So um, the Dollar Tree was good. I saw Manager Tracy and Shelby checked me out. So I just picked up some of my some of my favorite Redbird mints, and you all know how much I love these. I highly recommend them if you have had any dental work done and you can't do like hard mints or hard candies. These are soft mints, and um, I love them because of the uh, cardinal on the front. You know that were, that's the Virginia State bird, and Virginia is my home state. These are very, very soft. They remind me of dinner mints. You know those butter mints? That's what they remind me of. So I did pick up another bag of these. I also picked up, You, I know a lot of you have hauled the Tiny Toast at the Dollar Tree. Now, my Dollar Tree has had the Strawberry Tiny Toast, but they, ne they had not had the Blueberry Tiny Toast until today. So I went in and I saw Manager Tracy and I said to Manager Tracy, she said, hello, Mrs. Lala, how are you? And I said, I'm fine, Manager Tracy, how are you? And she said, I'm good. And she said, she peeked in my cart and she said, oh, you're not shopping very much today. And I said, yeah, I'm not really finding anything that I like. And she goes, well, look harder. So just as I was talking to her, I rounded the corner and there sat the blueberry tiny toast. So, yippee skippy for me and Louise, right? Well, yippee skippy for me because I found it, and yippee skippy for Louise because she loves this stuff. So, you all know that I got the strawberry last, a few visits back at my Dollar Tree. This time I got the blueberry, and I got four boxes of it. Now, this this sells at Walmart for $2.98, so getting it for a dollar is really, really good, and... um 
this does not expire until the 2nd of August, 2017. So I'm fine with it, even if it has expired a little bit. It's sealed up in a box, in a bag, everything's fine. So I picked up four boxes of the Tiny Toast. Another thing that I got, we do have our flags out front at Lily Bug Lane, and uh, it looks very, very festive, but we're missing a wreath for the front door. We are, we are. I know, I know. I don't know what's wrong with me, but we do not have a patriotic wreath. Um, and I was looking for the burlap ribbon that Teresa Branham hauled, and she showed it in her... Uh, patriotic wreath DIY that she has up right now. I was jonesing after that so, so bad, that burlap ribbon with the stars and the stripes. Yeah, I didn't find it. But what I did find was the deco mesh. Now, let me tell you, I am not a big fan of deco mesh. I'm just not a big fan. Um, I can take it in small doses, but I, you know, it's, it's, to me, it's just, become a little oversaturated, but at the same time, I needed I need something for the front door. So I went ahead and got five rolls of this deco mesh, and this is the tri-color deco mesh, and it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. There's some silver running through it too, so that'll give a little bit of sparkle and festive festiveness at the door. But I picked up five of these, and I already had the wreath form that is at the Dollar Tree. And this is a 14-inch wreath form. Um, and they had these at the Dollar Tree a while back. And I did get quite a stock of these. So if I ever need to make a wreath, I can just, you know, I already have the form. I don't have to worry about it. So, um... So I'm going to use this as the form, and then I picked up at the Walmart the chenille stems. Now I've watched a few, I've watched a few tutorials on how to do the deco mesh, um, and I think I'm going to be able to swing it. Now one of the reasons that I'm not too keen on the deco mesh is because I don't think I'd be very good at it, you know. And I've made it no secret that I am the kind of person that if I can't do it very, very well, I don't want to do it at all. So the deco mesh kind of scares me, but I have watched quite a few uh, uh, tutorials on YouTube, so I think I'm going to be able to swing it. I think I'm going to be able to swing it, and um, I will let you all know how that turns out. I'll take a picture of it and use it as a thumbnail in one of our upcoming videos. That way you can see it. Um, but anyway, so I got that. So that was from the Dollar Tree, was the Tiny Toast, the Deco Mesh, the Mints, and that's what I got at the Dollar Tree. I also got um, cards. I got some cards at the Dollar Tree, too. Now, I went to the Walmart, and um, I picked up some wax because I needed some wax. So I got five of my favorite um, base wax, which is the Mainstay Vanilla, and these are just little cubes, but I use this as a base in my wax, wax melter, um, and then I add in stronger wax cubes, but this just kind of mellows the, mellows the, uh, scent out a little bit. So I got five of those, very, very, very pleased with those, and those are like 93 cents at the Walmart. And then I picked up a couple of, um, a couple of different brands. I picked up some Sensationals, and I got the Vanilla Bean in the Sensationals, and these are larger cubes, and these are made in the USA. So I picked up the Vanilla Bean, and I also picked up this one, which is, smells really, really good, but it's called Cupcake, so I was happy about that. The only thing I don't like is that it's pink. But um, that'll be okay, because I'll mix it with this, so it won't be as pink. But I'm um, very excited about this, and this smells really good. Now, you all know that we like bakery scents and foodie scents here at Lily Bug Lane. I don't really burn a lot of floral scents candle-wise, and I don't really like a lot of floral scents in my wax either. So anything that I get is usually associated with food or spices or, you know, something like that. Baking, things like that. And then I picked up from Better Homes and Gardens the Vanilla Cookie Crunch. And this smells really, really nice too. Made in the USA. 
and these are the larger wax melts also. So I will be very, very excited to uh, try these out, and I will certainly let you all know how they do. Okay, so the Walmart has new jewelry, so when you're at your Walmart the next time, stop in the jewelry section and look at the new statement necklaces they have. Now, when I say statement necklace, I'm not talking about the statement necklaces they had two years ago when they first came out. These are different statement necklaces, but they're still calling them statement necklaces. Very, very pretty, very um, understated, but very, you know, they make a statement when you're wearing them and you can build an outfit around the necklaces and they have new necklaces they have new bracelets and they have new earrings and they all kind of coordinate together and um, I did find a bracelet that I liked this is five dollars this is from the this is from color the summer line and it's just a silver it's just a silver toned bracelet that has a little bit of a wave right here. Now it's a hinged bangle, so it goes like this when it opens up, but I really like that design, that like, oh, you know, over under design. I think it looks really, a twist, it almost looks like a twist. I think it's really, really pretty, so I was excited about this, and um, you all know, we've talked about jewelry, we've talked about me and my feelings about jewelry. And, you know, I just like things that are very understated and very classic that I can wear with a lot, you know, I can wear with different things. Because, you know, I don't, I'm pretty understated when it comes to, look how nice that looks on my wrist. I know, right? I'm pretty under, and it's got some weight to it, too. It's got some weight to it. So if you see this, it, it only came in silver tone, but it certainly would look nice in gold tone too. So anyway, so that's what I got at the Walmart. But um, what I was saying about jewelry was, is, you know, you and I, you and I, we have talked about my preferences for jewelry in the past. And you all know that I do have some very basic jewelry pieces that I wear. So anything that I pick out, I want to be able, you know, to wear it in different um, ways or with different types of outfits that I wear. And um, I certainly, certainly love this. And I might even get another one just to have as a backup in case this tarnishes or breaks or anything. But I certainly like that. And it feels very, very nice on the wrist. So, so that's what I got. So not a whole lot. Um, again, we, we are not planning to do anything special this weekend. Like I told you, Chewy and Louise will be going down into the city to watch the Pirates play. And then Chewy will be golfing on Sunday morning, very early on Sunday morning. We will have Saturday night at the sink tomorrow night. So that'll be a lot of fun. And we'll be doing that. Um, I'm just going to be watching TV and watching YouTube and enjoying my weekend also. Hopefully the weather will be good and it'll warm up for, it'll warm up a little bit. I wanted to tell you, Chewy is very, very excited because we had, we've had our hummingbird show up at the hummingbird feeder. So Chewy has a hummingbird feeder outside and he has been making his own hummingbird nectar. Thank you, dear. He has been making his own hummingbird nectar, and so we have finally started to see humming uh, a hummingbird. We, we've seen it, but it's probably the same hummingbird that keeps coming back, but we haven't seen multiple at the same time. So, but he's very, very happy about that. So, and if the weather is good enough this weekend, I would certainly like to do a garden walkthrough. The peonies are doing very, very well, and I certainly want to show you that. And we haven't had a proper um, garden walkabout yet this year, so I would certainly like to uh, try and do that. So that will be something that I will strive for this weekend. So, shall we pick a wiener? Shall we pick a wiener? We shall! Surprise giveaway! Yay! So, I am...
am so appreciative to each and every one of you for being such a wonderful, wonderful part of our channel. You all are what makes this channel what it is. And as I have said to you many, many times before, and I will say to you many, many times in the future, I am so appreciative and so grateful that we have such a great group of people in our circle of friends. Um, you know, I just cannot... I can't tell you enough in words how much it means to me that, you know, we are all adults, we are all, you know, um, supportive and loyal and caring of each other, and I just want you to know how much I appreciate it. So, we are going to have a surprise giveaway. Now, you all know that I don't typically announce the giveaways, so they are a surprise. On May the 12th, 2017, I posted a video quite late at night, um, and I was uh, showing you Hobo enjoying his new recliner, and the, uh, the title of the video was Just Sharing His New Recliner. Well, you all know that we were gifted a recliner from our neighbor's children. Um, it was a, a recliner that was not, not going to... Uh, be transported anywhere, and they asked us if we wanted it, and we said yes, we did. Chewy had always wanted a recliner, so that was a good thing. And um, so we have it here in Lilybud Lane, and Hobo, one of our cats, has has taken it as his own, pretty much. And um, Chewy has gotten to enjoy it a couple of times, but you know, if Hobo's in the recliner, it's Hobo's recliner. So I, I shared with you Hobo in his recliner one night and showed you the recliner. And I posted that video. And um, all of you were very, very supportive and very, very kind in the comments section. And those are the comments that I am using as our <coughs> giveaway entries. So... This is for USA only. Unfortunately, it is for USA only. And I did not include the, the person that won our last giveaway, our latest giveaway. That person is not included in this uh in this giveaway. So I just want to show you. Um I got I took the comments at five o'clock to this evening from the video. So anything after five o'clock is not included in here either. So take a quick look and see that your name is on there if you commented in that video. Okay, so here's what we are going to give away. You all know that we are we are a house we are a house of cats. We are a house with three cats. And I know that a lot of you are cat lovers and I know that a lot of you have dogs and you love your dogs and you are you are a house with dogs and um you know we 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 certainly love we certainly love our animals and we treat them as part of the family. So as uh, um the giveaway prize tonight um, I would like to offer you a one-year subscription to a magazine. Now, I'm going to give you three choices, and these will be the choices that you have for your subscription. The first one is a one-year subscription to Catster Magazine. So if you are a cat lover, this would be a fabulous, fabulous magazine for you to receive we absolutely love it here at Lilybud Lane, and um, I think it would be very, very enjoyable. If you are a dog lover, you might want to choose a one-year subscription to Dogster Magazine. This is for dog lovers. It is the companion magazine to Catster, and it is, it is absolutely fabulous. So if you are a dog lover, this might be what you would choose. And another one of our favorite magazines is Birds in Bloom. And who doesn't love summertime, warm weather, when the birds are all out and we can see them and enjoy them as they come into our yards and to our bird feeders. So you may enjoy a one-year subscription to Birds in Bloom magazine. So those are the choices 
for the giveaway. Either a one-year subscription to Birds and Bloom, a one-year subscription to Dogster Magazine, or a one-year subscription to Catster Magazine. So the winner of the giveaway will only have to tell me which magazine they would, they would like to receive a subscription for, and you will be gifted with a one-year subscription to the magazine of your choice one of these three choices. So, I have 27 entries here, USA only. So here are the 27 entries. Chewy has brought up random.org on his phone because his tablet died. So you can see one through 27 right there. Very, very exciting. And we are going to generate, we are going to generate Number four, number four. Can you see that? Number four is the winner. <gasps> oh, look who number four is, Kachita, it's you. Did I say your name right? Did I pronounce it right? Kachita, right? Kachita, it's you, it's you. You have won a one year subscription to your choice of Birds in Bloom, Dogster, or Catster Magazine. That is, uh, I'm so happy. Yay, Conchita. Yay, Conchita. Jazz hands for the winner. Conchita is the winner. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So, Conchita, if you can contact me through YouTube private messaging or at lilybuglane at gmail.com with your choice of which magazine you would like to receive, and your address for the subscription to be sent to, then we will get that we will get that submitted as soon as possible. Very, very exciting. So congratulations to Kachita. Very exciting. So that's about it for Friday night here at Lilybud Lane. Again, I will see you all tomorrow night at Saturday night at the sink. Please, please, please have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Be absolutely safe. I hope that you are all very, very well and happy this weekend and everybody is feeling good. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. Wish Carolyn a happy birthday and congratulate Kachita on being our giveaway winner at Lily Bug Lane tonight. I hope that you are all happy. I hope that you are all happy. I hope that you are all happy. I hope that you are all healthy. And I hope that you were all safe. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Good night.